If you've ever looked at a map, you might have glossed over a rather interesting facet of the world's geography. Most of the Earth's land mass drips off to the southern tip of the globe. This phenomenon is known as continental drip, not to be confused with the much more common natural phenomena, continental drift, which describes the shifting of tectonic plates. Africa, South America, India, Greenland, nearly every landmass on Earth has a trailing edge pointing towards Antarctica. This observation was first made by Ormondo Decay in a 1973 paper titled More Random Walks in Science. Decay meant the paper as a purely tongue-in-cheek observation, but it pointed out a very real and confusing phenomenon with our world's geography. Another scientist and writer named John C. Holden expanded on the idea in a book he published in 1973. The notion eventually became so popular in the scientific community that the 1990 game Sim Earth even included a continental drip model in its Earth simulation. This intriguing observation about the continent's drip nature might just be coincidence, but there could be other forces at play. Decay proposed the idea of some kind of large paleomagnetic force that has gone unsuspected and undetected, centered in Argentina that perpetually tugs down the lower portions of the Earth's land masses. He also proposed that the drip might be due to some aspect of the Earth's rotation, or even lunar attraction. However, Decay wasn't being completely serious. He thought that in all likelihood, the continental drip was probably a thing of chance. New scientists wrote in 1999 that the continent's shapes have been constantly changing, and that in another few hundred years, the continents and their positions and shapes will all look quite different again. Maybe the dripping of the continents is all just random chance, or maybe there's a mysterious primal force pulling all of our land down to the bottom of the earth. What do you think? 